I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. Our victories came at a high price. They always do. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. You'd accept orders from the Republic? I'd take my orders from you, as always. I'll get the job done however I see fit. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? It's time I got back to the Republic. Understood. I'll assist however I can. I'll reach out to my contacts in the SIS. I expect they'll contact you directly. You'd love the Corellian Sector. Best starshine surprise on Nar Shadda. First round is on me. You finally made it. Could you bring me another K3? Wait, make that two. Well, if it isn't the commander of the most popular club in the galaxy. Welcome to my second favorite cantina. Jonas Balker, Republic, SIS. With a face like yours, it's no wonder half the galaxy signed up for the Alliance. Nice to meet you, Jonas. Pleasure's all mine. Really. I'm glad you came to see me. The Republic and the Alliance have similar goals, and I think this partnership will benefit us both. A war is coming, whether we like it or not. We need to be prepared, and that means keeping fuel, food supplies, and raw materials out of Imperial hands. But more importantly, we need you to help put a positive spin on the whole thing. Flash your winning smile. Inspire the troops. The usual. Gather resources and boost morale. Simple enough. Confident as ever. Once this mission is over, I'd love to take you out for a drink. Sparks are flying on Osis, off in the Outer Rim. With a little help from you and the Alliance, the Republic could gain the upper hand. I'll make a few calls, set plans in motion. We should have more details once you're back on Odessin. Welcome back to the Republic, Commander. Commander, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Ardenando Dipolis de Rune. I oversee the Republic's deployments along the Parlimian Hyper Route. I only wish we were speaking in person. I just brewed a truly invigorating blend of Gatiland and tea. Do you enjoy tea, Commander? I prefer the harder stuff. You know, blue milk, citrus juice, calf. I once drank two mugs of calf in a single day. It was a wild one, let me tell you. Two whole mugs? You are a wild one. A beautiful planet, Catalenta. Its people are renowned for their long and steadfast support of the Jedi. It is the Jedi I wish to discuss with you today. I'm just about the furthest person from a Jedi that you're likely to find. And yet I believe you were the one person most capable of helping them. Few Jedi survived the war against Sakul. They've gone into hiding. Scattered across the galaxy. I'm not even sure how many council members remain. Satil Shan is still alive. Have you contacted her? I have, but... It's been years since she led the Jedi. She couldn't help me. I did manage to learn of one surviving member of the Jedi Council. Master Nostaral. My sources tell me he's in hiding. On the planet Osis. Not sure I've heard of it. An ancient bastion of the Jedi Order. 
the Sith reduced it to a barren wasteland centuries ago. Apparently, Master Nostaral took as many Jedi as he could find and established a hidden colony on the planet with the help of civilian volunteers. Unfortunately, the colony doesn't seem to be hidden any longer. I've tracked Imperial forces moving through the area. I believe the Jedi are in grave danger. Have the Jedi been warned? The Jedi colony is completely off the grid, and any warning I try to send will only lead the Sith directly to them. Osis is at the far end of the Parlemian hyperroute, practically the Empire's front door. I have no official authority to intervene. I'm gathering the resources to launch reinforcements regardless. But without authorization, it's taking time. Time the Jedi may not have. You aren't bound by Republic regulations. You can help faster than I can. Please, travel to Osis. Protect the Jedi until my forces can arrive. They need our help. Helping the Jedi isn't just another mission for you, is it? It's personal. It should be personal for everyone. The Jedi deserve whatever help we can give. I'll forward the coordinates for the Jedi settlement. There is one final catch. Initially, you must go with a light force, perhaps even alone. Approaching with an attack group of any significance is sure to provoke a massive Imperial escalation long before I can respond in kind. If this does escalate, you're willing to start the war again right here and now. It is clearly the Empire's intent to fire the first shot on Osis. I do not savor war, but the Sith must never go unchallenged. May the Force be with you, Commander. I hope to be sharing the next cup with you in person very soon. Likewise, General. The General is very shrewd. Going in alone is the best move here. I'll have a shuttle prepared, something small and stealthy. Wish I could go along. Nostaral is an old friend of mine. It'd be good to see him again. We'll have you on your way to Osis as soon as possible. May the Force serve you well. Hello there. I'm afraid you're going in the wrong direction. I'm the commander of the Alliance. I've come to help. Commander of the what? Doesn't matter. This looks like an evacuation. So you know the Imperials are here? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. I'm looking for the one in charge, Nostaral. Do you know where I can find him? A guest looking for me. What a strange day this has been. I'll be with you in just a moment. Dr. Kimball, Nadia, how go the shuttle preparations? We'd be a lot further along if we hadn't borrowed so many of the shuttle's parts for the colony systems. It's going to be hours before we can launch. So do you know our new arrival? The commander of the... something? Or other? I command the Alliance. We overthrew the Eternal Empire. And now we're helping the Republic. Which means, helping you. Well, sounds like a lot's happened since we cut our communications. Which helped to keep us hidden all this time. 
I've come across your name many times in my research, Commander. Always in surprising places. I create and maintain the Jedi Order's historical records. It's probably time you had a chapter all your own, but that will have to wait. The Sith are on our doorstep. I formed this colony to safeguard the Jedi and their teachings for the future. Now, we must abandon it to serve that same goal. Republic reinforcements are coming. We just have to hold out until they get here. We welcome any help they can offer. But until they arrive, our plan must remain the same. We have to get these shuttles ready as soon as possible. You don't seem convinced that help is on the way. You don't think the Republic will come? Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Perimeter alarms. They're coming again. I'm on my way to handle it. Hmm. Yes. Take backup this time. Backup? I got all the backup I need right here. Commander, this is Tau Adair, our head of security. Would you be willing to join her in holding off the enemy as we complete our preparations? Having another Jedi wouldn't hurt. And a doctor always comes in handy. Tau, what do you think? Sensors aren't picking up a major push. Could even be a feint, so we shouldn't overcommit. Either way, sending the two of us is overkill already. Doc and Nadia should help cover the farming crews. We'll leave you to it, then. May the Force be with you. What did your sensors pick up? Imperial soldiers? Sith? Neither. The imps are just toying with us. The old man's pretty sure they're being led by a Sith named Melora. Melora's into biology. Genetic manipulation, Sith alchemy, blah blah blah. She makes monsters. For us, she's cooked up some kind of mutated Geonosians. Hyper-aggressive, heavily armored, psychotic Geonosians. With weapons. Making their way toward the colony in swarms. That doesn't really sound like you're being toyed with. The mutants are brutal and tough in a fight, but they aren't strategic. If the imps were serious about it, they could destroy us faster without the storybook monsters. Osis is riddled with old, buried ruins. The mutants like to cut through them to approach unseen. We get out there and collapse a few tunnels, they'll be cut off and the colonists will have a lot more time to move. Then let's get to it. After you, Commander. I've got a little mission for you. Head for the water distribution systems. supply will last for decades. Great work.
How long have you been living at the colony? Since the beginning. Almost five years now. Five years of peace and quiet. We had a good run. Of course, it took me nearly two of those years just to relax. I was sure someone would show up looking for blood. They always do. How many Jedi were left after the war with Zakul? We honestly aren't sure. After the Republic surrendered, the old man didn't want to risk getting an accurate count of names in case a cool got a hold of it. So we all went to ground to watch, wait, and rebuild. Not my first choice, but I see the wisdom in it. Jedi are? There were still contingents on Tython and Ilum last we checked. Didn't bother calling the Green Jedi, they'd never leave Corellia. Most are probably hiding in groups on far off planets like we did, or walking their own paths, following the Force. That was my plan, originally. Who changed your mind? The old man. He's always understood me best. He convinced me that this was where I needed to be, and I think he was right.
Let's take one more look around before we set off the charges. There's gotta be something here the old man would want. Cut through those mutants? I get the feeling you've been in more than a few scrapes. More than most. More than they ever trained us for. My first battle was Corellia. I flew in on a transport with five of the Jedi. One of the ones with the open sides, you know. The pilot took us in low between the buildings. We're in midair. And this Sith Lord, he just jumps right into the transport. Red lightsaber in each hand. Five of my oldest friends were dead before they could even blink. What did you do? How did you deal with the Sith? Same way I usually do. I killed them. The Sith had turned toward the pilot before my friends even hit the floor. I was behind him before he ever knew I was there. I nailed him with both hands. Hit the nerve clusters that run just over the ribs. Felt them crack. He dropped both lightsabers on reflex. I don't remember where the grenade came from. Must have been his. I smashed it right into his mouth and shoved him back out of the transport. You don't mess around, do you? That would be one of the things I learned about myself that day. Let's check in with the old man. Go. No. What's your status? We've closed all the tunnels we could find. Sending coordinates now. Any chance you could backtrack to their source on some of the old maps? Of course. Let's see. Yes, here we are. They were all part of a residential structure that must have largely collapsed centuries ago. I'm sending coordinates for the structure's main entrance. If you can seal that, the mutants' hidden approaches will be cut off completely. Have you heard from General Dayrun or anyone else from the Republic? Not yet, but we have the shuttle's communication systems online and ready. If they call, we will answer. The entrance you're closing is located in an area our archaeologists never fully cataloged. If you find anything of interest, please do your best to recover it. we Will do. Tau, out. Ready when you are. It was a beautiful planet once, one of the cultural centers of the galaxy, until the Sith destroyed it. And now they're back. They already cooked the whole planet with a supernova. Not sure how they're planning to top that. Were there any survivors after the supernova? I think there were, and I'm pretty sure they're still here. The old man agrees, but... Most of the others aren't convinced. What makes you so sure? Every time we've dug into the deeper chambers of the old ruins, weird things have happened. Tools and lights going missing. We find footprints in the sand where nobody's walked. That kind of stuff. I can just feel that there's some kind of life here apart from us. Whoever it is, they're staying hidden. Probably the smart move.
was the plan? If the Sith had never shown up, what was the goal for the colony? Recover enough territory that we could grow crops and sustain more people. Enemies! Then go find people. I would have set out with a team to find out the Jedi and bring them back to the show. We would be go to war. Dead. I back to war. More of them. A lot more. There must be an army of them below us. Keep your distance when the warriors go down. They're putting off some kind of force. Weaker when we take down the warriors. Focus on the swarm. Looks like we're finished here. I can't get the old man on the hollow. We'd better head back and make sure nothing's happened. Our sensors are being jammed, along with our communications, both short and long range. Disruptions like this can mean only one thing. That you haven't been paying your bills? The Empire will come in earnest now. This doesn't fit Melora's pattern. She never bothered to disable enemy communications during her siege of Nantoon. Something very strange is happening. We have to move quickly. Many of our people are still outside the colony. Some at the farms, and the rest at the ancient library. We should split up. You don't need to act like we have a choice, old man. No way you're leaving this planet without seeing that library one more time. 
you have anyone guarding the colony? Is it still going to be here when we get back? Shields are up, so orbital and air attacks shouldn't be an issue, but our ground defenses are very limited. We can't hold against a mass infantry assault. The first shuttles will start launching while we gather the stragglers. They could send a distress signal once they escape the jamming zone. I'll get you General Dayron's direct frequency. He's the best person to contact. I'm sure the Republic's just gonna sweep in and save the day. Even if they merely pick up our evacuation craft, it would be a huge help. I'll pass the information on. Thank you, Commander. Before you go, Tao, we need to finish our discussion about your Padawan. Now? Really? This feels like a good time. It is always a good time to learn, teach, and grow. We already had this discussion, which is why I don't have a Padawan. You don't want more Jedi like me. One is bad enough. You think that if so many good Jedi die and you survive, then you must not be a good Jedi. You think that the reason you've survived your skill in battle is the only skill you've mastered, so you must be a bad Jedi. But the only lesson you need to learn is that you are more than the killer you see in yourself. Teach, and you will see just how much more. You believe in me more than anyone I've known, and, and I appreciate that, but I'm just not ready. Look, can we just... can we save this for later? The imps aren't waiting around, and neither should we. Very well. You check on the farms, I'll check on the library. And we'll meet afterward to select your Padawan. Damn it, old man. May the Force be with you. Looks like the perimeter turrets need a kick. Let's get them activated. Why not? Take the others and get moving. I can handle a few Sith. We're here to help. Tao! Commander, you're just in time. Cesarios, now we can handle whatever the Empire throws at us. It's not about you. If the Imps land a single shot on D9 before he finishes, we'll lose everything. What do you mean? All of our data! We grew crops in a radioactive wasteland. What we've learned could increase crop yields all across the Republic. 
Imagine how many people we could feed. We'll handle it, Zarios. We need you to head to the shuttles and get everyone loaded up. The faster, the better. This can't be the only place the data is stored. Could you just get a copy from the colony databanks? All of our computer systems have gone haywire. I don't know if it's the Imperial jamming or what. This is the only working terminal. Maybe our only shot. Imperials coming in fast. Get moving, Zarios. I won't say it again. All right, all right. Let's go. Everyone okay? Good here. I'm glad we got Zarios and the others out of here. That got a bit exciting. D9, were you able to get the files? Get this back to the colony right away, Nadia. Make sure the Republic gets a copy. Of course. I'm never gonna let Zarios live this one down. Speaking of, I'd better catch up with him and the rest of the crews. Make sure they get back to the colony safely. Really appreciate the help, Commander. We're lucky you joined us when you did. I'll meet you both back at the shuttles. We should hurry to the old library. If they sent a force like this just for some farms, there's no telling how many troops they sent there. You all right, Tao? Is there anything you want to talk about? These weren't a bunch of brainless monsters, not like the Geonosians. But fighting them, killing them... It didn't really feel all that different. We're fighting an enemy that wants to destroy everything we care about. It doesn't always feel good. We can't let them win. I suppose you're right. Let's get moving.
There must be something. 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 Somewhere. Where? Where? You, uh... You all right there, Sith lady person? Oh, such a mess. Always such a blasted mess with him. Where is Nostaral? What have you done to him? What? Oh, the Jedi. Over there somewhere. But you're rather too late to help him, I think. Wrong answer. You don't seem like you care about the Jedi at all. Why are you even here? My purpose is beyond your feeble comprehension. Leave me to my work. We're not going anywhere. Tiresome. Ignorant. Ugh. You speak to Darth Malora of the Dark Council. And your interruptions end now. Die and be silent, fools! There's something different about these mutants. Watch out! Creatures, you truly are useless. Enough, you will not win. You cannot win. Malora's barrier has failed. Never can. Ignorant fools! He's alive. Barely, but... he's alive. Truly? <laughs> Lord Malgus has lost his edge. Malgus? Oh yes! This is all his handiwork. I would never make such a mess of a library. Even one belonging to a Jedi. Malgus usurped my entire operation. A veritable ballet of predatory evolution, discarded in favor of the bludgeoning fist of a toddler. That's impossible. Malgus is dead. I was there. Apparently, you should have been more thorough. Malgus is alive, here on this planet. Though operational might be more accurate. A machine with pieces of a desiccated Sith Lord bolted into it hardly deserves to be called alive. Life is far more variable, more adaptable. Capable of true change, and thus, true power. The Force is life, and only life can truly command its depth. Will you shut up? Malgus or not, we have to get the old man back to the colony, now. We'll find a way to move him safely, and head straight for the colony. The dig team used hover sleds when they were working in here. We'll find one and use that to carry him. You realize Malgus is on his way to burn your colony to the ground, yes? He could hardly say he finished my work if he leaves it standing. That would be the now. 30 seconds to objective, my lord. Enemy fighters, evade! Fighters. They made it. They actually made it. 
Good afternoon, Commander. Before you ask, rest assured, I brought tea. You have great timing, General. We can't thank you enough. I only wish we could have been here sooner. Can you bring medics to our position? We have urgently wounded people here. Right away. We'll evacuate everyone to the colony. Medical and support teams are landing as we speak. They run out. I'll just be going then. I don't remember saying you could leave. Taking me prisoner will waste time and personnel that you'll need to treat the wounded, like your friend here. I'm sure I'm not worth the effort. I think a prisoner like you could tell us a lot of interesting things about Malgus and the Empire's plans. Oh, tiresome. Thanks to the distress calls, we were able to sweep in and pick up all of the evacuation shuttles before the Empire could deploy pickup teams of their own. That's a huge relief. We can never thank you enough, General. All too happy to help. All evacuees will be transported to safety in Republic space. I know of some settlements on Tanab that could put good farmers to use, if any are interested. Are you going to keep enough troops here to fight off any Imperial reinforcements? We'll establish a forward listening post here, secure the colony perimeter, but I can't spare more than that. We're too close to Imperial lines to risk a full garrison. Speaking of farms, I have already forwarded your data to a friend of mine, an outstanding Chatej player from the Agriculture Administration. They tell me the information from your farms is likely to revolutionize our entire logistical structure. Countless millions may be fed thanks to your efforts. I'm glad I could help. Any chance your fighters got Malgus in the attack? It's possible, but seems a bit too much to hope for. Got Malgus back on the front lines. This is a dark day for the Republic. We caught him off guard this time. I doubt we'll be so lucky again. I still don't see how it's possible. Malgus died. This has to be some kind of trick. I didn't sense any deception in Melora, and a few of the imps we captured confirmed her story. However he managed it, Malgus is alive. Is he all right? Did he make it? Nostral's wounds were severe. Cauterized perforation of the upper ventricle, ocular damage from oxygen exposure, catastrophic muscular and nerve damage to the left forearm. Fortunately, he received treatment from the most brilliant, skilled, and <clears throat> handsome doctor in the entire galaxy, so he's gonna pull through. At least you have the skills to back up that ego. With plenty to spare, I assure you. Thank you, Doc. I mean it. That's what I do. The soldiers are still digging through some of the worst of the damage to the library. Torrell, Reina, and Z are still missing, and I can't sense them. That makes 15. I'll update again when we finish clearing the rubble. The old man was right to bring us here. We needed this time to heal. And to remember what makes us Jedi. We've hidden long enough. The evil of the Sith doesn't stop just because we aren't there to oppose them. Quite the opposite. I'm no master, and I can't speak for the Order, but I can say this. The Republic needs the help of the Jedi. So let me be the first to volunteer. I am deeply honored to accept. I'll have quarters prepared for any Jedi who wish to join you aboard my flagship. We're already packed, and I think this will end up being a much more worthy destination. Commander, thank you. Without you, this would have been a much darker day for us all. I'm always glad to help out the Jedi. We're lucky to have friends like you. May the Force be with you. When the dawn came, the Zell awakened and saw the tongs upon the high place and were afraid. 
For the morning light caught the glint of elms and weapons and created phantom warriors made of dazzle and distance. But the cleverest of them were not deceived. The Empire thought they could make this a grand first strike in their renewed war against us. They hoped to destroy the Jedi. To destroy us with fear before we ever faced them in open battle. Thanks to you, they failed. The Jedi are renewed allies of the Republic. Our people have seen that the Sith are vulnerable whenever we stand united. This war will be dark and brutal and vicious. But we will stand against that darkness together. Together, 